Hi and welcome back, Scale Gamer. It's time for a bit of uh, Smash TV on the Sega Mass System. This is part of the Master System Challenge, AP Boy UK. Should be a link in the description. Check out the channel. It's a weekly challenge uh, involving Master System games, obviously, hence the Master System Challenge. Uh, the hashtag Master System Challenge uh, you'll find in the description. Probably find a link to uh, AP Boy UK's channel as well. If not, just uh, type in search Master System Challenge or AP Boy UK, I'm sure you'll find uh, the channel on YouTube. So we'll play some Smash TV. I've only played this uh, once or twice before this version. So I've played the coin up version emulated a few times. Um, not really my bag usually. To be fair, it's it's fine, but just feels a bit like uh, an updated version of that uh, old Atari coin up Robotron 20. 2040, 2048. Just done out really with the strafing either with the mass system as well, it feels very clunky. Obviously a bit of a push for the system maybe this. Um, there's a lot going on on screen or in all fairness to the old mass system hardware. Uh, it always seems to slow down too much, have too much flicker. Obviously it's quite well programmed. But yeah, around about the time that this got released I would have thought I would have been more um, into the Super Nintendo maybe, or Super Famicom. Um, possibly, if this was a, was this 92? I would have thought so. Probably Super Nintendo. Uh, and I never played this on Super Nintendo back in the day. I do believe it's quite popular on Super Nintendo. Again, it's probably that era when uh, a lot of people owned a Super Nintendo, so... Certainly a skill to the game. Somewhere I'm lacking because obviously I haven't played this much at all. No idea how many credits you get on this game with infinite continues or I think your score resets once you lose it, once you continue anyway, so played it to a game over previous go. Again. I score one, two grades. Not expect any great things from, from this uh, playthrough either. Yeah, it's quite a lot on screen. It's quite it's a bit jerky, in all fairness, but uh, I suppose that's to cope with the amount of uh, objects on screen. I think we must get. Continues must continue the score, aren't they? Really, so see some of the power ups are definitely a lot better than others. Drown shot there seems a bit weak. Just feel quite frustrating to play. Some sort of end of 
stage boss or whatever. I do remember seeing pictures of this guy in magazines when this, uh, this game got reviewed. And again, very little limited experience with this game. Even the coin up version. Uh, I do understand it got released on the Mega Drive, I think it got released on pretty much everything, didn't it? It's quite a popular coin up, if I remember right. Yeah, I've got to say, I'm not the biggest fan of the game. It's fine. This is probably not the best way to play, in all fairness. But again, it's, it's fun to, to see what these games actually look like on the mass system. Obviously, uh, that early 8-bit hardware has sort of been stretched at this point in these kinds of games. How many shots does this guy take? Does it really need that speed up? Shooting him in the air, or should we shoot him in the arm? Just feel quite relentless. The collision detection could be slightly if he's on. Are gonna get past this guy? Is he gonna waste me? I think he's gonna waste me. Surprised if you get past this guy on oh, Mutoid. Mutoid. It's on to die, Mutoid. Oh man, how, many, how, much, how much more does he take? Just have to find the sweet spot here. Maybe not. Game over, man. Oh well. That was my attempt at uh, this week's Master System Challenge. Pretty dire. Again, cheers to Baby Boy UK. Master System Challenge, check out his channel. Always an interesting choice of games as well. So, peace out and have a good one. Catch you again on another Mass System Challenge, or maybe on one of my live streams. Peace out.